soul family, you want to know the truth about the melanated people that label themselves British, Canadian, and American. Guess who be doing that? A lot of these melanated people that are a part of fraternities, all these Zionist, Freemason organizations, they're the only ones who will label themselves Americans, British, and Canadians, Canadians, however you want to say that word. Those type of melanated people, I shake my head at them. I know that they are not my kinfolk because, for one, if a melanated Afro hair person labels themselves British, Canadian, and American, they are supporting white supremacy and they are very proud of a lot of melanated Africans and melanated Caribbean people being raped, being humiliated by slave owners. Because look, do you know in history, do you know in history around the 18th century, 19th and 20th century, even up to the 21st century in some places in USA, UK and Canada, a lot of these melanated Africans and melanated Caribbean males they're fucking hanged up on ropes and shit. They're, they have their private parts cut off. And they, and they be fucking raped in front of their own melanated African, melanated Caribbean women as a humiliation ritual. Which is the reason why a lot of these melanated women that you see in UK, Canada, and USA... They have no respect for African and Caribbean culture. And they despise it. Just because some evil ass white supremacy slave owners and a lot of these melanated sellouts that call themselves British, Canadians, and these American labels supporting patriotism, supporting the fact that melanated African Caribbean males were fucking raped in slavery. As a humiliation ritual. So for melanated people that call themselves Americans and British and Canadians. And you root for Team UK. You root for Team USA. And you root for Team Canada. And you sit there and know that melanated African and melanated Caribbean males were fucking humiliated during slavery. You was a fucking sellout and you're not my damn kinfolk. It's like me, if I was to if I was to participate in the Olympics, I'm not participating for Team United Kingdom, USA, and Canada. Those are fucking colonizer countries built off a genocide of humiliated melanated Africans and melanated Caribbeans. The same in USA, UK, and Canada is the same countries that be demonizing African and Caribbean culture. If you got Afro hair, you can grow your hair into locks. UK, USA, and Canada demonizes you. They be hating on your African and Caribbean culture. Like when I learned about this stuff, family, like I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, fuck USA, fuck UK, and fuck Canada. For real. Fuck those colonizer patriot countries. Why do you think they got the team in the NFL called New England Patriots? Why the fuck you think that? USA equals Patriots. There's people in the southern states that root for the Patriots. So what does that tell you about the whole country of USA? White supremacy colonization. Fuck USA, man. They did foul shit to Zambian people, Zimbabweans, Tanzanians. They did foul shit to Ethiopians. They did foul shit to Angolians. They did foul things to Ghanaian, Senegalese, Nigerian people, Jamaicans, Trinis, a.k.a. the Trinidadians, the Barbados people, the St. Lucian people. They did foul things to all USA, Canada, and UK. They did foul, humiliating things to all these Caribbean and African nationality people during slavery and modern day slavery behind closed doors. The stuff about behind closed doors, they don't want to tell you what they do. It's the same shit that happened in slavery. They just hiding it now in the countries of UK, USA, and, and, and Canada. That's why me as a melanated skinned person with Afro hair, what the fuck I look like 
you know, calling myself Canadian, British, or American. Like, fuck out of here. They did foul shit to a lot of my ancestors of the 18th, 19th, 20th centuries. You know, so I feel for that shit, right? This is the reason why melanated people that call themselves Americans and British and Canadians. You notice how they always had to be police officers that support white supremacy? Always. And they always downplaying and they always demonizing African and Caribbean culture. Like imagine a person demonizing a culture that has people that look like them. If that's like if that's not the biggest coonery there is, I don't know what is finally. Because you got a lot of Afro hair people in USA, UK, and Canada demonizing African Caribbean culture. Anything that deals with Trini Trinidadians and Zimbabweans and Botswanian people, South Africans, Nigerians, Senegalese. Ghanaians, anything that deals with African Caribbean nationalities, it gets demonized in the countries of USA, UK, and in Canada, man. Like, so me considering myself a false nationality like British, American, and Canadians, aka Canadians, for people to have a different accent. If I label myself these patriot colonizing identities like Americans, Canadians, and British, I'm selling out my own African Caribbean culture if I'm doing that shit. That's that's some shit I can't do. And like people like this Cosinette dude who will be so ignorant and tell a bunch of melanated people that are that that be followers to his streams, saying like, oh, if you grew, if you're a melanated person, you grew up in UK, USA, and Canada, you are not Caribbean or African nationalities. That's like telling a Middle Eastern person that grew up in UK, USA, and Canada that they are not Middle Eastern. Cosinette, he's misleading his people. He misleading a lot of his followers. <laughs> like, and they don't even see it. I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna speak about Cosinette much later, Soul Farm. But this stuff is real side, yo. Like, for these melanated people in the Western countries that label themselves British, Canadians, and Americans, like, they, they, they really have no brain cells at all. Like, it's like their brain cells, their brain cells is like dust in a vacuum that has not been cleaned out and it rusted up. That's what it's like calling themselves British, Americans and Canadians and shit. Any all that shit deals with patriotism, colonization. Those type of melanated people that label themselves British, Americans and Canadians and aka Canadians. They support melanated Africans and melanated Caribbeans being demonized. In the country of USA, UK, and Canada. And those type of melanated people that are a bunch of sellouts who label themselves British, American, and, and Canadians. They support white supremacy. They're happy that the Black Panthers got wiped out. Those type of melanated people is not my kinfolk. I don't give a fuck if they look like me. Like... <laughs> This stuff goes real deep, soul fine. It goes real deep. This is all I'm going to say right now. 